Hey gamers, thanks for tuning into Fire Chicken Review. Today I'm going to be talking about uh, this company you see in front of you, Sandbox uh, Gaming. They're uh, a new company to uh, the scene. They actually just had a, a fairly successful Kickstarter for their game show, of which I'll be reviewing here uh, shortly. So I'm very happy to talk about that. Uh, and uh, the guys over at uh, Sandbox Gaming were nice enough uh, to give me one of uh, their game shows. I did have to put it together, so a little bit of uh, a spoiler here. If you see any issues with uh, the box, it's not because of them. Uh, it's because I had to assemble it. Uh, but I will mention that out of assembling things, I'm not uh, the, the biggest fan of having to do that. Uh, but this was actually uh, fairly easy to put to, together and I'll be linking a video of how to put it together as well as the store's uh, webpage and their Kickstarter if you're so interested. So moving aside this business card, you can check it out. Don't worry, I'll be saying that. And this deck that I just put there just so that I can have something to hold. Uh, this box actually, so this is the game shell uh, box. So the first thing I want to talk about is holding up uh, this uh, piece of paper. The Sandbox Game Sandbox Gaming Game Show. Use the following link for assembling instructions and to watch the assembly video uh, below. Uh, so I found this interesting. So this is what uh, the inside of uh, the, the box is going to look like, and I'll be showing it here shortly. I What I was mentioning here is that uh, this was the only instructions that came uh, with this. All of this uh, came uh, not assembled. So currently, if you want uh, one of these uh, game shelves or any of their other products right now, uh, mostly everything they make, you have to assemble it yourself, kind of like other uh, gaming companies that you see out there, or not gaming companies, but uh, people that make accessories for games like deck boxes and whatnot. A lot of these uh, wooden uh, boxes, it becomes much cheaper to sell uh, to a customer if you have to assemble it yourself because then it reduces uh, shipping costs. And it, it's actually kind of fun uh, putting uh, things together. Uh, but the reason why I want to bring up uh, this, I keep on moving aside, is that uh, I found it interesting that you have to check out uh, their website um, and hopefully they do update uh, their website. One thing I did find was it was a little bit uh, challenging uh, to watch it on uh, my phone. Uh, so I had to go to my computer uh, to go through all the, the links. I think it's just optimization of uh, the website, which is a new. So they hopefully will take that feedback and be able to make it so that you can click on all the links and whatnot on your Android or Apple phone. I was using an Android uh, phone at the, the time. But that's all to say that uh, these are all the instructions. Um, the video is actually extremely useful. It's about 17 uh, minutes uh, long about uh, putting uh, this together. Uh, for me, watching uh, the video, I was able to put everything together. And again, if I haven't mentioned it, I'm not the best at gluing and all that. I'm not the handyman around the, the house. Uh, but uh, for this, it was actually fairly uh, straight uh, forward. All you really need is what it comes with, uh, some a little bit of wood glue and some Q-tips. And it was extremely easy assembly. So let's uh, talk about this. So this is uh, made out of uh, birch uh, wood uh, and it's uh, nice and thin and it's very, uh, everything is very uh, tight. I, I found everything and in a good way, everything uh, clipped uh, together fairly uh, easily and that was uh, nice. Um, the one interesting thing that you see here is it has Sandbox uh, Gaming on the side. I'm not sure if it, this is supposed to be the symbol, and I'm fairly sure it is. This looks like the, the symbol for uh, Sauron, which is uh, uh, one of the dinos uh, from Keyforge. So it's one of the houses from Keyforge. If you haven't played uh, Keyforge, you should definitely uh, check it out. It's a fantastic uh, little game. Uh, but what's interesting is they, they put the, their little uh, uh, company logo on uh, quite a bit of the stuff, and it's all uh, the same. Um, I did check out their webpage. They do uh, do some customization, so it would have been nice to be able to customize this. Maybe say fire chicken review. I don't need it myself, but hopefully, what they do later on is have a little add-on value for customers that want to to be able to customize their stuff. Of course, that takes uh, a little bit of time. So what you see out here is uh, the outer shell of uh, the the game shell itself. So outer shell of game shell. That's what I just said. Sure. Uh, and to, for a comparison, let me just grab, I'll be right back. I just wanted to, uh, grab, so this is my game shell. Uh, this is my world championships, uh, uh, deck box. It's actually about a uh, similar size. If I move this for a second, as you can see, 
Uh, it's just uh, ever so slightly uh, bigger. Uh, my Worlds Championship uh, box I got uh, from going to FFG Worlds from 2016, of course. And uh, that box uh, can hold up to five decks. The, the game shell itself can hold uh, three decks or five decks, actually, if you depending on how you uh, get it. But this one has a, uh, I think it's called a dice uh, tower. Uh, or basically it allows you to have uh, three drawers and uh, three uh, deck boxes. So it's, it's quite nice. And these are for the size of holding uh, Keyforge. So enough of that being said, the rest of uh, the box on this side, this is just where you push to open up uh, the box. And interesting enough, I can push all I want. It won't open because of this uh, gadget right here. It has a locking mechanism, which is Probably one of the coolest things about the box. It's very easy uh, to put together, like I was mentioning, but one of the interesting aspects is this locking mechanism. It's not fancy or anything like that, but to me, I'm like, ooh, exciting. Uh, so it's basically uh, a two-way lock. And in, in the instruction video that I'll be linking from the company themselves, they show you how you put this together. It's actually just two pieces of wood inside of here uh, that lock this uh, latcher right here. So basically all you do to unlock it Right now, as you can see, it's in the lock space. You move this one to the left, move this one down, and moving this one down is the big one, so I'm not sure if you can see it. You can see it there now. All it does is it moves a latch to lock in place. So, the big reveal with moving that aside, all you have to do to open up uh, this box is you just give a little bit of pressure here. As you can see, not too much pressure to open it up, and you can keep on pushing or you can open it like this. Just do a nice slow reveal. And well, there you go. So this is the, the inner shell for the game shell from uh, Sandbox Gaming. Sorry, just stepping away there for a second. And as you can see, it's a nice modular thing. So you have the option of having, being able to just get a game shell that doesn't have um, these uh, here. So the, the three drawers. I and again, I think it's called the Dice Tower. And I'm sure I'm going to be ruining it and get corrected in the comments. And that's fine. And then uh, the three uh, deck boxes that I have here. Everything uh, fits in uh, quite nicely and is fairly uh, tight, uh, which is good because you don't want any rattling or anything like this. So just showing on the outside, these uh, here are actually so that you can open up uh, the drawer just with uh, one finger. But what's also interesting is that uh, the drawer can be opened up by just pushing it like that. And this is the other side uh, here. You can see the, the lock that I showed and it's in the unlock position. Again, that's that little tab that locks everything in uh, place. And then when you want to take out your deck boxes, I'll just put it in the forward spot here. Just take a little bit of effort and you can take out your deck boxes uh, like uh, so. So I'll just take out uh, two here. Uh, so the actual deck boxes here. So. The inserts that you can get, you can get a variety of uh, different ones. So this is, one is for uh, a Keyforge uh, card insert. And again, same like uh, the other thing, they have instructions uh, for putting this together, but the instructions are just basically go to uh, the, the website. Uh, so when I went to the website, I should also mention that there was a uh, PDF, which has a uh, very detailed uh, word instructions. And I would like to see uh, those instructions. I know it uh, wastes a bit of paper, but I would like to see that if someone asks for it, I think someone should be able to ask, say, hey, can you include uh, the instructions just because I don't always go online and I'd rather just, um, instead of watching the video, just have uh, paper instructions. Maybe just add a little bit of an extra fee just to save trees and whatnot. Or let me know in the comments if you think uh, everything going digitalized, getting with uh, the modern times is the best way. So that's all to say that uh, this is a Keyforge uh, card insert. These things took... Uh, very little time to put together. There's a video for putting this together. It was like four minutes long. And for me to put the three together, I think it took me about 15 uh, minutes, uh, maybe 10. No, I think it was about 10 minutes altogether. I would have shown you the video of me putting it together, but it would have been brutally boring. And honestly, the video uh, that they show on the Sandbox Games website is actually the, the best uh, compared to me building it. Uh, so talking about it, uh, though, again, everything's made out of the same style. Uh, again, has uh, the Sandbox game uh, logo just on all the stuff. So it's just nice uh, and engraved on everything. It'd be nice uh, to be able to customize it. Maybe your favorite uh, deck uh, name just being uh, put here. But what I do like is what they did here. Just being able to have this little groove. 
So you can see your um, deck's name, which is really cool and really interesting. And remember, this is for a multitude of games, not just a Keyforge, even though this says the Keyforge card insert. Uh, this can hold um, either one uh, sleeve deck, as you see. There's basically a space here for about uh, 40, 45 uh, cards uh, that are sleeved. Depends on the type of sleeves that you have. Or you can hold uh, two um, decks that are still in the wrap. So, like, not in the wrap, but as long as they're not sleeved, you can hold uh, two decks in there just like uh, so. So I'll leave those in here for now. Um, and as you can see... Uh, the, the big thing is uh, they, they did it so that you could be able to see uh, the three house uh, names up uh, here. If you, you want, uh, it covers up the QR code here a little bit. But most of the time what you would have, I know that's a different deck. Most of the time what you would have is actually your deck name. So it's cool that even if you're using your Archon card, you'll be able to see your Archon's name quite well. Or if you just have uh, this one here. Uh, you'll be able to see your the three houses. So you might want to place it uh, this way, but it's just a little bit uh, different. Usually you put your Archon's uh, name so you can see what uh, deck it is. So I, I really do like uh, this uh, window. I'm not as big of a fan of uh, the smaller one here. It's nice to be able to push stuff out, but you're probably just going to grab from the, the top. Um, and if you're using your Archon uh, card, you can't really see all three houses without uh, taking out. Uh, so it causes a little bit of uh, annoyance uh, there, not being able to see without like kind of moving it back and forth. Uh, but the big thing is, is if you want to see this, you can either see that and uh, the name of uh, the deck will be on the bottom. So I believe when they built this, they actually built it uh, with the idea that uh, you're going to actually not have your Archon card this way because now that I think of it, and again, this isn't me rehearsing for this clearly. Uh, the name is on the bottom, shows up clearly here, and then you have your three houses. Where I would have preferred, just because of how I played Keyforge, uh, if the Archon card was uh, the focus, uh, having it a little bit different. But this does, uh, now that I think of it, uh, shape up nicely having it uh, this way. If you have your cards uh, sleeve like this, the only dilemma, of course, is that most of the time when you have it uh, sleeve, uh, it's probably going to... Well, not being orc sleeves, but it's probably gonna um, be sleeves so that your archon, your archon card is the one that you see. But uh, a lot of people will also play with uh, clear sleeves, so that's not an issue for the way that they'll face it. So, since I've gone on that for way too long, uh, like I was saying, you can uh, fit either six unsleeved decks or three uh, sleeve decks, and there's room. Uh, a little bit of extra space in all these, which is nice. Makes it easy to take out, even if you leave it in. And you can put uh, extra stuff in there, like your chain tracker and whatnot. And uh, it's just nice to be able to fit all those things in here. So I find these are quite, these are pretty nice. I like them. Uh, they're, they're pretty good. Uh, the only small issue... No, I wouldn't even say that small issue. You'll find, and again, this is just uh, day one of having this. Um, it's good. It's nice and uh, tight in uh, there. Uh, the small issue was what I was basically mentioning, but you got uh, a lot of space in there. And I would have liked to have been able to put, like, again, maybe something else uh, here. But there's nothing stopping you from uh, giving this a nice uh, coat uh, that you can put on yourself or you paint this. Do whatever you want to add a little bit of your own customization and uh, flair. So I'll put that back in there. Uh, now I wanna talk about the, the drawers uh, that you have here. So again, like I was saying, they have a, a little finger notch here so that you can open it up like uh, so. And that's pretty nice. Uh, I think most of the time, if I'm gonna be opening this up, I'll just pre press on the back here. Like I said, it opens really easily. So I just push my finger there and it opens like that. Uh, I found this notch, though, kind of nice. Uh, and I was showing it uh, to my wife, and she said, yeah, that's kind of nice. It, it's it's more for her uh, fingers. It, my my big uh, finger does fit in here. Uh, but I think for my preference, i just rather push in the, the back. So you let me know in the comments what you think of that. I like the option of being able to do either or, but I'm just going to push from the back. So the three drawers is super cool, uh, just because it's like, oh, look at this. It makes it feel very uh, fancy there. And they all can come out. So I just put in uh, some of the, the tokens that you can get for the upcoming um, Mass Mutation, Worlds Collide, uh, 
game night kits. So go to your local stores and you can get some of these purple uh, items that you see here. And these are just some of my L5R uh, RPG dice from uh, the past. But the more important uh, part is actually talking about uh, how much you can fit in here. Again, um, uh, these tokens are fairly uh, small. So these are from Age of Ascension, Worlds Collide, and Onward. Um, what uh, Fantasy Flight did was they made their tokens a little bit smaller, but you can fit basically like, I could put all my tokens in, it would probably fit in here, minus these dice. I only have uh, the dice in here to show just how much room that you have in these uh, three boxes. Uh, you easily can put uh, your chain trackers, your three sets of keys. Uh, the official keys uh, do fit in here as uh, well, so that's uh, nice. Uh, so you can put lots of room here. And that's where the customization for the game shell comes in. So if you don't want uh, this, if you don't want to put all your tokens in here, you can fit uh, two more decks. In my personal preference, I think uh, being able to put in all the tokens and extra tokens that you need is uh, quite uh, nice. The drawers come in and come out fairly simple here. And they just go back easily enough. So doing that. And you can leave it in, that's so cool. So maybe the tokens that you need, the one that you need the most, you can just pop on the top here and just leave these for spares for other stuff. So that's just a really cool factor. So I really do like uh, these uh, boxes. I think um, the depth, if anything, maybe it's uh, just slightly uh, too big because wow, I just got all kinds of room. But the reality is I think these are work out perfectly. These drawers are awesome and really help you. To fit everything in and when you're playing in uh, big uh, tournaments or even casually it's nice when you don't have uh, all the space in the world that you can just have it uh, all folded back into here I say folded but you can put it back in here and using uh, the actual case itself to put things on uh, top of or around it if you need to so again like I was saying the assembly for this was uh, not uh, too hard overall it took me about um, hour and a half uh, to put together and uh, there's a disclaimer with that i was really taking my time going slow making sure that everything was put together smoothly pausing the video that i was watching because it, uh, i'm not if you're like me i haven't put too many uh things uh, together so i really wanted to make sure i didn't blunder i actually did just recently put something else together and i did make a few uh, mistakes on that so uh, the instructions I found on the video for this one were quite clear and easily. The one thing that uh, I'll point out in the, the video and when I was putting it together, some of um, this fits really tightly. So some of the noises you hear, you hear some cracking noises uh, when you're putting it together. It's not really cracking. It's just uh, the wood uh, clipping in, but it sounds like, oh, it sounds like the wood is like chipping or breaking it's not at all it's just that it's fitting tightly and it's working well and you'll definitely be able to tell uh that you're not applying too much uh, pressure because it'll come together and look nicely like this um you can let me know if you see any blemishes or anything with the this uh, product but the fact that i'm a clumsy uh person when it comes to putting things together and i was even i was able to put this uh together uh it shows to the craftsmanship uh, that the sandbox game has uh, done but let me know in the comments what uh, you think if you've uh, gone out and purchased or if you're looking at purchasing uh, this uh, so this product again was uh, by sandbox uh, gaming this is uh, their gamer shell they have lots of different options uh, some of uh, the pinpoints that I said that uh, I would have liked to have seen is some customization maybe being able uh, to label different things or just engraving with your name or your favorite uh, decks for the game shell and the other item here is that uh, potentially I would have liked to seen this come in different types of wood and whatnot. But hey, uh, the company is uh, fairly new. If uh, they sell enough uh, product, they might be able to uh, go out and give you even more types of customization that they can work with. But overall, for a deck box, this is a really nice uh, deck box. I could highly uh, recommend being able to put three decks, having all the space for your different tokens and the uh, Knowing that even if you stop playing this game, uh, Keyforge in this case, if you're starting to play Magic or any other card game, you can just swap out uh, the, these trays for different size ones to match uh, the board game or a card game that you're playing, and you can uh, carry on. Uh, so the last thing that I'll leave you with, uh, like I was saying, is that uh, like, subscribe to our channel if you liked uh, this video. Let me know if you'd like to see us cover more of Sandbox Gaming's uh, stuff. 
And they also want me to let you know that if you go to the website, which I will be linking, and use uh, the, the promo code FIRECHICKEN, all one uh, word, uh, you'll get uh, 10% off of uh, the product. So until next time, thanks for watching.